Good morning, students. This morning we're going to discuss three of our special testing. Uh, the first one we're going to discuss is clinitest. I want you to remember that you are given a chart with all uh, three of these tests uh, on them as well as the acid test. Today we're going to be doing the clinitest. You can we're always use a glass tube, never a plastic tube because this gets very, very hot and it will melt the plastic tube. So it says collect a urine um, in a clean receptacle and with the dropper in an upright position place five drops of urine into the test tube. So let's do that. Now we want to count five drops, remember, in an upright position. One, two, three, four, five drops of urine. Then just put the rest of it back into your test tube, your urine tube. And then we want ten drops of water. Now we have our little water bottles at our desk, but we would rather use the same size of dropper for the water that we did for the urine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drops of water. Then we want to mix it up. And then we want to add a clinitest tablet. Be careful not to touch these because they will react with your um, any moisture and they will become very hot. Drop it into the test tube and then you want to watch this the entire time that it is boiling. Notice how it's boiling. Still boiling. You watch it until the boiling stops. You see it changing color? Then once the boiling stops, you compare it with the chart that is on your sheet. So you see you can compare it. That's 2 plus. Which color is it most like? This one or this one? I say this one. So we can say this has 1% sugar or a 3 plus. And we remember that when we do clinitest, we are doing them only on children under 2 years of age or if the doctor orders it. We are not testing for glucose. Our strip tests for glucose. In the clinitest, we are testing for other sugars that are reducing substances. And most of the time what we're looking for in children under 2 is galactose because galactose is a sign of an inborn era of metabolism that can lead to devastating consequences for the child. So we only do them on children under two and or when the physician... When we're watching the development of the color for the um, clinitest, we have to, as I said, watch it the whole time it's developing because if there is a lot of of um, reducing substance present, it will go through what is called a pass-through color, which means it will go all the way to orange and then back to navy blue. And if you didn't see it, you will think it's negative. You will have missed it. So you have to watch it the entire time. Next, we're going to do our ICTO test. The ICTO test is a confirmatory test. We only have two confirmatory tests. One is the ICTO test and one is the protein SSA testing. Remember the CLINA test and the ACA test are not confirmatory tests. So this is our first confirmatory test. If you get a positive on your dipstick of uh, bilirubin, then you want to always confirm it with the ICTO test. Again, you have your procedure in front of you for the ICTO test and it says we want to take out a mat and we have our mats at our desk. We want to put it um, the side up that is um, more 
uh, cottony. We do not want to put the braided side up. We want to put this side up. And then if we read our directions, it says place a square uh, absorbent test mat and uh, then we want to put 10 drops of urine onto this test mat. So we will get our urine. We will add 10 drops onto our mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we want to remove one of our ecto caps tablets out of our bottle. You dump them in a uh, dump one into the uh, lid of the of the uh, cap, but you don't want to touch it with your hands. And then you can put it onto the mat. Use your tweezers to put it on the top of the urine. Then next, we want to place one drop of water onto the labeled um, tablet. Now we want to wait five seconds and make sure it's five seconds. And then we want to add another drop and make sure it falls off onto the mat to make sure that it gets to the mat. Then we want to wait 60 seconds and then we will observe the color. It's been 60 seconds and I can re remove my tablet. Notice there's purple on the pad. That is a positive. Now let me tell you, be careful that the color you see is purple. If it is any cut shade of pink, red, or orange, those are negative colors. The only, the only positive color is purple. Now we're ready to do our SSA. Our SSA procedure is on the back of our color chart, so you will always have it there to help you understand how we perform this test. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the SSA tube that you will find provided for you at, on the front counter, and it has one ml of sulfosalicylic acid. I will label this with the person's initials or name that I am doing the test on. That is so I have to let it cook for five minutes so I don't want to forget whose um, urine this is. Now the first thing I'm going to do of course is get and uncover my SSA, take my urine, take my 1000 milliliter um, pipette. Now when we use this pipette, you notice when you put it in your hand, it goes to one stop and then if you push harder, it goes to a second stop. So the way we use this pipette is we go to the first stop prior to entering our urine and that is our draw up stop. Then we put it into our test tube and go to the second stop to be sure that all the uh, urine is uh, deposited. There will always be provided turbidity tubes that we match the turbidity that is in our patient sample with known standards of turbidity. It starts at five milligrams per deciliter and then it goes all the way to a hundred milligrams per deciliter. And you can see the difference in the turbidity. Now as we look at the 75 and the patient and the 100, I would say the turbidity is closer to the 100 than it is to the 75. So we will say that this patient has 100 milligrams per deciliter of protein in their this urine. This morning is the SSA, which is a confirmatory test for protein. If the protein is above trace, then we always perform the SSA to be sure. Those are the three tests and good luck in the lab.